has devolved to uh, Bonnie and Crave campaign. I just wanted to issue an informative to uh, residents of Ramu County and our area of, of responsibility, uh, which is uh, Bonnie and Crave, covering Ramu, Hijara, Urugo, Tanaviva, and Kirifi. This morning we had some incident at about 8.30 or thereabout where a lorry ferried cement from Mombasa to Ramu drove over an IED. In this incident, the lorry was extensively damaged. The cement was thrown all over the place. This happened at Mishawa Rami on the Mijira Ramu Highway. This is the first incident of this kind we are having on this highway. As a result, it inconvenienced uh, travelers uh, using public transport. And a second lorry driving behind this um, was also shot at. The occupants of the lorry suffered some gunshot wounds and they were attended at Uitu. But we had no fatalities in this incident. We had a twin attack that happened more recently where the enemy damaged a power transmission a tower and uh, Kenya Power has sent engineers to fix this. Uh, consequently, Ramu has experienced lack of power since around 830. Following these incidents, we have discussed as uh, security managers in the county and resolved that uh, on 8th, it would not be prudent for public service vehicles to use the Mijira Mukoe road. We have information that uh, the enemy, Al Shabaab, plans to plant IEDs on the highway. We have the capacity, the wherewith, and competence to sweep these IEDs. But it would take a long time in the course of the day, and considering that our officers are involved in other equally important national exercises. It's a little inconvenience to the operators and uh, the travelers who are sharing their travels for tomorrow. But we beg with them to bear with the situation. On 9th and 10th, we plan to also downscale the number of convoys to bear minimum and advise uh, those planning to travel to only have essential travels in the next coming days as we clear the road and ensure the safety and security for the travelers, human life, and the buses, the big investment the bus operators have put into this. Power is being fixed, and we anticipate before the day ends, we'll have full resupply back to normal.